One morning, deep in the hundred acre wood, a little bear named Winnie the Pooh was doing his stoutness exercises. Up. Oh yes, time for my stoutness exercise. Up, down, up. When I up, down, touch the ground, it puts me in the mood. Up, down, touch the ground, in the mood for food. Time for something sweet. Who happily declared. Pooh opened his cupboard for a pot of honey. Oh bother, Pooh cried. Empty again. Only the sticky parts left. Then Pooh heard a buzzing noise. Buzzing meant bees. And bees made honey. And the only reason for making honey is so I can eat it. <laughs> Pooh followed the bee outside. The bee flew high up into a tree, a tree filled with sweet, delicious honey. Dum -dee -dum, I'm so rumbly in my tumbly. Ooh. Time to munch an early lunch and hum -de dum dum dum. Oh, I wouldn't climb this tree if a pool flew like a bee. But I wouldn't be a bear then, so I guess I wouldn't care then. Bears love honey and I'm a pooh bear, so I do care, so I climb there. I'm so rumbly in my tumbly. Time for something, for something sweet to eat. If only I hadn't... You see what I'm meant to do? Well, it all comes, I suppose, out from liking honey so much. Oh, bother, Pooh cried. I suppose it all comes from li liking honey too much. Pooh was even hungrier than before. What was he to do? Think, 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 Pooh thought. Pooh was joined by Christopher Robin. Pooh saw his friend's balloon and got an idea. May I borrow your balloon to get honey? Pooh asked. But you don't get honey with a balloon, Christopher Robin answered. I do, Pooh said, smiling. Then Pooh rolled in a mud puddle and took the balloon from Christopher Robin. I shall fly up into the honeybee tree, Pooh explained. But you're not a bee, said Christopher Robin. They'll think I'm a little black rain cloud, Pooh answered, as he rose higher and higher. Silly old bear, laughed Christopher Robin. Good luck. Yes. Four. Yes. Three. Yes. Two. Yes. One. I'm just a little black rain cloud hovering under the honey tree. I'm only a little black rain cloud. Pay no attention to little me. Well, everyone knows that a rain cloud never is funny. No, not a nip. I'm just floating around over the ground, wondering where I will drip. Hello, bees, Pooh said, reaching the top. He tried his best to look like a little black rain cloud, but the bees knew better. They angrily swarmed around him. Christopher Robin, Pooh called down. I think the bees suspect something. <laughs> Christopher Robin, I have come to a very important decision. These are the wrong sorts of bees! I think I shall come down. I'll catch you 
Oof. Pooh landed right on top of Christopher Robin. I have come to a very important decision, said the bear of little brain. I do not look like a little black rain cloud. But Pooh did not give up. He set his mind on honey. And honey rhymed with bunny. And bunny meant rabbit. Hello, rabbit, Pooh said at his friend's house. It's, it, it's lunchtime, you know. Oh, ah, hello, Pooh. So it is, Rabbit stammered. Ah, join me? Oh, yes, Pooh answered. I'd love to. So Pooh joined Rabbit for lunch. Would you like milk or honey with your bread? Rabbit grumpily asked. Both. Pooh replied, but never mind the bread, and never mind the milk, please. So Pooh ate, and he 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 ate. Well, goodbye, if you're sure you won't have any more. Is there any more? No, there isn't. I thought not. Oh, 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 help and bother. I'm stuck. Oh, dear. Oh, gracious. Mm. Oh, well, it mm. all comes from eating too much. Mm. It all comes from not having front doors big enough. Oh, oh, oh dear, it's no use. There's only one thing to do. I'll get Christopher up. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Poor Pooh. He tried and tried to squeeze through. He even tried to blow out air like Christopher Robin's balloon. But it didn't help. He was jammed tight. Well, if it isn't Pooh Bear, said a familiar voice. Oh, hello, Owl, Pooh greeted his friend. You, sir, are, wedged, are a wedged bear in a great tightness, Owl said. Huh? Pooh asked. You're stuck, Owl simply explained. This situation calls for an expert, Owl declared. Did someone call for an expert? said a little newcomer. Goofer's my name. Digging's my game. It seems, Al said, the entrance to Rabbit's domicile is impassable. Huh? Goffer asked. The bear stuck, Owl explained. What do you suggest? Dynamite, Gopher replied. Dynamite? Pooh cried. Oh my! Just then, Rabbit returned with Christopher Robin. Cheer up, Pooh. Christopher Robin said, we'll get you out. Bear, here, give me your paw. Mm. 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 Oh, it's no use. I'm stuck. Well, if we can't pull you out, Pooh, perhaps we can push you back. Oh, no, not that. Oh, my gracious. Oh, dear. Having got this far, it seems a pity to waste it. Pooh Bear? There's only one thing we can do. Wait for you to get thin again. Oh, bother. How long will that take? Days, weeks, months, who knows. Rabbit did not want to look at Pooh's budgy boisterer every day. But what could he do? If I have to face that thing, Rabbit declared, I might as well make the best of it. So Rabbit decided to decorate it. First, he added a frame. Very nice, Rabbit said. Now for a splash of color. Then he placed antler-looking sticks on it and drew a moose face. Not bad, Rabbit said, admiring his work. It's rather good, I think. Oh, Rabbit, Pooh called from outside. I have a tickle in my nose. 
I think I'm going to to a choo. Pooh sneezed and messed up the moose. Why, oh, why did I ever invite that bear to lunch? Moaned Rabbit. Day after day and night after night, everybody waited for Pooh to get thin. The friends tried to cheer him up. Christopher Robin read stories to Pooh. Owl taught him long words. Kanga and Roo brought Pooh a bright blue scarf to keep him warm. Even gloomy Eeyore tried to make Pooh feel better. Well, it's better than dynamite, Eeyore groaned. One night, Gopher joined Pooh for a midnight snack. Ah, what sort of lunch is it in that lunchbox? asked the very hungry bear. Oh, a pear, a squash and some honey, Gopher answered. Honey? Pooh hungrily asked. Could you spare a small smackerel? Oh, thank you, Gopher. Oh, no, not that. No, 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 not one drop. But, Rabbit, I wasn't going to eat it. I was just going to taste it. I'll taste it for you. That super silly scoundrel confiscated my honey. Don't feed the bear. Then, one day, just when Rabbit thought he'd never use his door again, it happened. He budged, Rabbit said, pushing up against Pooh. Hooray! Today is the day. Rabbit ran off to get Christopher Robin and the others. Everybody, pull! Christopher Robin yelled. Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Oh. Slowly, 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 Pooh started to move. But it was too slow for Rabbit. Heave! Ho! Heave! Ho! Heave! 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 Shout out of the hole. Like a big bear bird, Pooh soared through the air. And... Wump! right into the honey tree. The bees were terrified and flew away. Don't worry, Pooh, Christopher Robin called from the ground. We'll get you out. No worry, Pooh replied as he grabbed heaping hands full of heavenly honey. Take your time. Take your time. <laughs>